So I was looking into coming to Paris because in French schools have much more technique and creation than English schools, where English schools are really either focused really, really on creation or on academia and research. Um, and f for me, I wanted both. Um, and then doing my research, I found out that this course was being created with the merging of Institut Français de la Mode and École de la Chambre. Um, so for me, it gave me the perfect mix of the culture, research part, creation, and then the technique, which for me is really important. So why I want to become a designer or work in fashion is because I really love the idea of turning like 2D fabric into something 3D and wearable and that we can actually see, see people wearing. So for me, the, the benefit to being in Paris and another reason I want to come here is because of just the, the culture here is so rich and really even just like the museums. I could have gone to school in London, I did actually apply to school in London, but even the, the museums they have there are not as rich in, in culture for me or, or at least per, and perhaps it's because I already know them and I, I've seen them a million times before. Um, but also just the, the real culture around technique here in Paris with fashion, because um, of course it's here the home of couture. The foundation year I did um, wasn't specially focused on fashion, it was actually pretty open to any kind of creation we wanted. And, uh, but I, I already knew that I wanted to do fashion. So I decided to go to Institut Français de la Mode because it's in Paris and it's pretty obvious but, and pretty common, but Paris is my favorite city. I just like uh, wandering about, around the city. During my foundation year, I wanted to integrate La Chambre Syndicale, but I didn't feel like I had my world, my creation world. So that's why I decided to, to do the foundation year. And I was very happy to also see the reunion between IFM and Champs and since IFM was my final goal as a master's student, if I could access it, of course. Also, there are other schools in Paris, but I like the, the international field that IFM could open. And the, the fact that we could have the courses in English really helped me too, because I didn't want to lose the English that I got thanks to my parents when I was a, a child. What I like the most about the program is the fact that we have multiple um, opportunities to, for example, have access to lots of different cultural events happening in Paris, or even just, for example, there's a partnership with La Cinémathèque, where each Wednesday we, we go see a movie and we discuss about the movie with the with a woman that helps us understand the context, the historical, the social and political context of the film. And uh, yeah, there is really wide openness to everything that concerns culture and not only fashion. Before coming to IFM, I have actually been studying fashion ever since I was 14 or 15 in the Philippines. So during my high school, on the weekends, I would go to fashion school. Um, and then I moved to Paris actually last year in September 2018. I was enrolled in a different school, but I wasn't completely happy, I wasn't completely satisfied, and I wanted to push myself further, which is why I kind of ended up here at IFM. I have no idea where the idea of fashion came from. However, what my mom used to do when I was around one to two years old, she'd always give me pencil and paper to kind of just stop me from crying, complaining, and I kind of grew with a pencil and paper along in my hand. And then I started drawing scribbles, you know, the scribbles transformed into human figures and then I was clothing those human figures. So by the age of three, four, five, I was already sketching clothing. And from there on, I was thinking, maybe I do want to do clothing for other people. It seems like a fun job. It's something that I was really drawn to as a child. And Although I kind of strayed away from that path for a while, um, I did go into other forms of visual art, music, and all that. In the end, when I was 13, I started to do these sketches of people again. And I said, you know, I'll just do this. I love doing this. I'm passionate about it. And I knew that I could improve in it. And I don't know if it would be pretentious to call it some, to, to be calling it passion. But if passion really is a real thing, then that would be mine. What I like the most about the program here, what I didn't expect was how they would develop our sense of style, our sense of design, and how to elevate things so much further. And a sense of culture, and to take that into a different level, and to add intellect, to add our personality, and you know, to just add all these factors and create them into garments, even though 
you know, garments are an inanimate object. It's still something that we can make live. It's still something that can have life. And that, I think, is one of the most important things that we can achieve with, you know, what we're doing here. Right now, it's an ongoing process of figuring out why I want to be doing this. But what I'm sure of is that I am in love with what I'm doing. I commencé par faire une année au Beaux Arts, au Beaux Arts de Bordeaux. Je savais pas exactement euh, ce que je voulais faire, donc j'ai voulu faire un truc un peu plus général et me diriger de, dans l'art. C'était hyper euh, cool cette année-là parce que ça m'a permis d'apprendre à construire un projet, et à savoir euh, un projet artistique et à savoir le défendre. Et ça m'a donné les outils pour la suite. Et après ça, en fait, je me suis dirigée euh, bah, dans la mode et j'ai fait une année à la Casa 93. À la fin de l'année, on doit faire une collection, euh, une collection collective, en fait. Donc, euh, c'était hyper cool de faire ça avant d'intégrer une école, euh, une vraie école de mode. Ce qui me plaisait du poil IFM, c'était que vraiment que c'est une formation qui est 50-50 créa et, et technique. Et ça, pour moi, c'était parfait parce que, enfin, pour moi, en tout cas, la technique, c'est vraiment... Euh, euh, c'est chiant, en fait, pour la plupart des gens, mais moi j'étais hyper contente de savoir qu'on allait en avoir beaucoup parce que, pour moi, avoir de la technique, ça permet en fait de, bah, de booster quelque part sa créativité et d'aller plus loin dans ses projets au final. Ce que je trouve vraiment intéressant dans cette formation et ce que j'attendais aussi de cette formation, c'était vraiment que, déjà, j'avais besoin de renforcer, je pense, mon bagage culturel en mode, en fait. Enfin, je pense que, voilà, je n'avais pas forcément confiance en moi là-dessus. Ce que j'aime bien ici, c'est que du coup, on a des, des cours bah, d'histoire de la mode, des cours d'histoire de l'art aussi. On a des, aussi, on, on va voir des films à la Cinémathèque française. Donc c'est, je veux dire, c'est, je veux dire, un, une culture globale. Et c'est ça dont j'ai besoin en plus. Enfin, j'ai fait les beaux-arts et tout ça, donc euh, j'avais besoin de, de continuer à m'ouvrir à plein d'autres choses et forcément pas juste à une, une culture mode. Donc ça, c'est hyper, euh, hyper cool. On est toujours ensemble, enfin, les classes, on, je veux dire, on se pose des questions, on s'entraide. Pour moi, en fait, un designer, euh, designer de demain, il ne peut pas ignorer les, les, les enjeux du, du monde futur. Quoi. En arrivant à l'IFM, j'ai eu la chance d'obtenir euh, la bourse euh, à 100%. Donc, euh, sans ça, bah, je n'aurais sûrement pas pu suivre cette formation. Donc euh, forcément, j'ai envie de me donner à fond et de prendre le, le maximum de choses possibles et, et, euh, et voilà. Ce qui me plaît dans cette formation, c'est euh, vraiment les cours qu'on a en modélisme, en montage et en cours de style. J'essaie d'allier les trois pour, euh, pour m'exprimer en fait. On a des sujets, mais on se les approprie. C'est ça en fait qu'on fait. Et par exemple, ce sujet euh, où il y a les présentations maintenant, c'est euh, oversize. Enfin, on devait peindre sur de la soie, un workshop. Mais après, on peut se l'approprier, on peut faire vraiment ce qu'on veut en soi. Par exemple, moi, j'ai watiné ma, ma soie. Du coup, c'est un peu comme si c'était des, des espèces de coussins, beaucoup de coussins. Et j'essaie de créer une structure, en fait, tout autour du corps. Et ouais, ça me plaît, ça me plaît. Je ne sais pas si j'ai envie de devenir designer, mais j'ai envie, en tout cas, de montrer ce que je sais faire. Et... Et ouais, voilà, d'exprimer euh, quelque chose, comme tout le monde, à sa manière. Les besoins nécessaires aujourd'hui dans ce profil que c'est le modéliste dans, dans, dans les entreprises. Aujourd'hui, les modélistes, ce n'est pas tout simplement un exécutant. Ils interviennent de plus en plus dans la création. Le studio a une demande très importante vers les modélistes de propositions créatives. Et c'est à partir de cette idée-là, justement, que euh, j'ai commencé à, à réfléchir, à construire euh, cette pédagogie. Dans un certain sens, c'est comme une, une découverte de soi, de, de, de ces capacités qu'on a à l'intérieur, mais que on n'a pas compris, on n'a pas encore découvert et qu'on ne connaît pas finalement. On commence le, le, le travail au début de l'année en oubliant complètement ce que c'est la technique, les règles de la technique, se libérer de ces contraintes. Et c'est la, la première partie où l'étudiant justement se perd un peu et ne comprend pas pourquoi il faut oublier la technique. Mais c'est justement pour libérer la pensée, pour avoir cette spontanéité dans le geste et pouvoir créer, interpréter. L'étudiant perd tout ce, ce repère, mais c'est en perdant tout ça qu'il arrive justement à aller à l'intérieur de lui et 
découvrir ce qu'ils pouvaient faire et découvre des, des capacités qu'ils ne soupçonnaient pas d'avoir. Une fois qu'on s'est libéré de toutes, de toutes ces règles de construction, euh, on peut reconstruire ses propres règles, aller au-delà de de, des constructions basiques, pousser au-delà l'architecture du vêtement. Cette année, par exemple, j'ai appelé à intervenir une experte en corset et en crinoline qui a travaillé avec les plus grands créateurs, comme McQueen ou Alaya, pour apporter son regard sur la construction. Elle aussi, elle a eu ce cheminement et comment se libérer de la construction pour en construire une nouvelle. Et mon objectif, c'est celui-là, de, de, de leur ouvrir justement leur émotionnel, le, le, leur, euh, leur réflexion, euh, leur regard sur le monde qui, qui les entoure. Chacun sa personnalité, chacun ses blocages, ses atouts, ses défauts, ses faiblesses. Et je tiens beaucoup à ce point. Et j'essaie de, de, de créer, euh, souvent j'y arrive, <rire> euh, un esprit d'équipe, une dynamique de, de groupe, euh, qui est continuellement dans les échanges. Parce que c'est de cette façon-là aussi qu'on rentre dans un esprit d'entreprise déjà et euh, tout le monde se libère et ne craint plus de montrer ses faiblesses ou ses doutes. Le dialogue est ouvert et là on peut construire quelque chose. J'ai choisi le secteur de la mode par passion. Euh, je suis passionnée depuis mon enfance par la création des vêtements. Les avantages de faire, de faire la formation d'alternance, c'est euh, d'avoir le statut de salarié, donc d'être rémunéré tout en étant euh, à l'école et en se formant. C'est bien d'avoir un pied dans le, dans le métier parce qu'on voit vraiment les attentes euh, et la réalité de, de la vie active et du travail. Je suis actuellement en poste de modéliste, donc euh, j'interprète et je matérialise euh, le croquis, les nouvelles silhouettes des collections. La partie la plus motivante euh, quand on est modéliste, c'est quand on a les nouveaux croquis et quand on découvre les, les nouveaux modèles de la nouvelle collection, qu'on doit faire les nouveaux moulages. Et... Enfin, c'est la partie la plus créative. Euh... Alors, les avantages de, de l'alternance, c'est... Euh... De, de, de pouvoir euh, travailler et former des jeunes qui seront tout à fait adaptés à la société pour laquelle on travaille, aux méthodes euh, techniques et d'organisation de notre atelier et euh, éventuellement à la suite de cette alternance, à les embaucher. Euh, pour moi, j'ai un autre avantage euh, dans l'alternance, c'est effectivement de travailler avec des jeunes qui du coup arrivent avec leur énergie, leur idée nouvelle, leur créativité. Euh, leur spontanéité, leur naïveté aussi. Et donc j'aime beaucoup la relation qu'il pourrait y avoir entre les générations, grâce à l'alternance. La qualité requise pour, euh, pour l'alternance, c'est je crois avant tout une personnalité et, euh, et de la créativité. Et donc du coup, c'est des éléments qui sont euh, hyper professionnels immédiatement, malgré leur jeunesse et leur peu d'expérience. Je ne savais pas trop vers quel métier aller au départ, parce qu'il y a tellement de possibilités. Mais pour moi, le métier de mécanicienne, c'est le plus beau. C'est un savoir-faire unique. L'avantage de suivre cette formation en alternance, c'est d'apprendre plus sur le métier, de travailler aussi avec des gens qui ont énormément d'expérience. Pour le moment, en fait, je m'entraîne beaucoup. Et en ce moment, je fais des chemisiers de A à Z. Je vois le processus, comment ça se passe. Donc euh, après mon CAP, je voudrais faire un brevet professionnel en apprentissage. Dans l'avenir, je me vois chef d'atelier forcément parce que mon but, c'est de grimper les échelons. Pour moi, les avantages de l'alternance, c'est d'accompagner les jeunes au sein de l'atelier. Et nous, on va mettre en pratique, c'est-à-dire aller plus loin lui, par rapport à chaque matière, par rapport à chaque maison. On a des techniques différentes. De voir ce que les autres font, c'est enrichissant. Et on est là justement pour leur, pour leur donner le relais. Et on, lui, on le forme et à la fois on l'analyse aussi parce qu'il faut qu'ils se sentent bien au sein de la société. Et pour savoir si oui ou non, ça peut aboutir par une embauche. Parce que c'est aussi ça le but. 
Les qualités requises, c'est très important, c'est la volonté, la précision, la souplesse aussi. Parce que dans ce métier, malgré tout, il euh, y a une certaine discipline parce qu'on veut le meilleur. Ces alternances sont euh, très importantes pour nous parce qu'ils nous accompagnent dans notre travail. Ils, font, euh, ils ont aussi beaucoup de curiosité et du coup, le fait qu'ils soient jeunes, ben, ça nous pousse euh, à les former encore plus. Ça demande beaucoup d'énergie pour l'élève, mais c'est un métier passionnant, donc s'il aime ce qu'il fait, il devrait y arriver. La première chose qui m'a qui marquée, c'est d'apprendre à travailler en groupe. Je l'avais fait en école de commerce, mais c'était avec des profils qui me ressemblaient beaucoup. Et là, c'est des profils vraiment hyper hétéroclites. Donc je pense que c'est ça ce qui est le plus précieux dans nos travaux, c'est de, de comprendre comment dealer avec un créatif, comment dealer avec quelqu'un qui ne parle pas du tout sa langue, qui n'a pas les mêmes codes. Enfin, J'ai l'impression qu'on est une classe assez entrepreneur et qu'on essaie un peu de voir avec qui ça fonctionnerait potentiellement bien pour monter quelque chose peut-être dans le futur. Et je pense que les travaux de groupe, ils aident beaucoup à ça. Je pense que la force de cette école, c'est juste de rassembler des profils très très différents. Donc, euh, poussez au max euh, votre différence. Et à l'IFM, je pense qu'on apprend à identifier ces différences et à les maximiser, à les pousser euh, le plus possible. Avant l'IFM, j'ai eu un bac à lauréat scientifique. J'ai fait une prépa pour intégrer une école d'ingénieur. Donc maths sup, maths sp, et donc j'ai été en école d'ingénieur à Bordeaux, orientée euh, programmation informatique digitale. J'ai choisi de travailler dans la mode parce que c'est un milieu qui m'a toujours attirée et que j'ai vraiment, je me suis beaucoup éloignée de tout ça en, avec mes études scientifiques. Et un jour, je me suis dit bon, c'est mieux vaut le faire maintenant. Et donc j'ai postulé euh, quasiment dans la foulée. C'était vraiment l'école que je voulais. On a également euh, des interventions professionnelles, que ce soit euh, des anciens élèves ou pas d'ailleurs, qui viennent faire des conférences ou échanger avec nous sur leur parcours. On peut ainsi échanger avec eux sur euh, leur métier, le contenu de leur journée, ce qu'ils font. Et c'est vraiment riche. On a des options aussi à l'IFM, notamment un cours qui nous permet de rencontrer des artistes, pas forcément des gens qui travaillent dans la modèle luxe. J'ai trouvé ça très riche et intéressant. Les aspects qu'on touche sont vraiment professionnalisants. On rencontre des personnes qui sont vraiment des acteurs dans le secteur et on ne reste pas en parlant que de chiffres ou de marketing, mais on s'intéresse aussi à la culture et à l'héritage des marques, par exemple. J'apprécie beaucoup mes camarades, mes, les collègues avec lesquels on, je suis tous les jours, parce que c'est vrai qu'ils viennent tous d'une formation très différente, de milieux de travail très différentes. Et c'est vrai que partager avec des personnes qui ont fait que de finances toute leur vie ou que de marketing toute leur vie, ça montre que des bonnes idées peuvent venir d'une personne qui a fait de la musique ou qui a fait que de la création, des modes. Et c'est ça qui je trouve enrichissant. Un des autres avantages qu'on a en étant étudiant en l'IFM, c'est la bibliothèque. C'est un endroit où on peut trouver des ressources imprimées, mais aussi les bases de données en ligne sont très enrichissantes. Et ils offrent beaucoup d'informations pour que chaque travail qu'on fait ait une base solide de données qui, normalement, ne sont pas de facile accès. Une particularité d'être à l'IFM, c'est pouvoir avoir des rencontres avec de grands témoins. 
et des personnes qui sont de directeurs de grandes entreprises et des personnes aussi qui, sont, qui ont leur propre start-up. On rencontre aussi des chefs de produits chez Dior, chez Hermès, qui nous partagent leur vie quotidienne, qui nous, nous expliquent leur métier, nous parlent des différences entre maisons. Ce type d'échange qui nous aide vraiment à nous professionnaliser. C'est à partir de ces échanges que chacun va profiler leur futur professionnel et c'est très intéressant de pouvoir partager avec eux dans un cas académique, dans un moment où on peut vraiment poser des questions et être face à face. I've always wanted to study in Paris. I've already known Paris since my um, exchange experience that I've done during my bachelor. I knew that IFM was the, the best school here in Paris and this program was new and interesting for me. I also chose IFM because of its practical approach to the subject, so I thought it was the right place to be. Some moments that I will keep with myself forever, I think, are the experiential learning experiences that we are uh, doing through the whole years. I think they are really interested because in this school we are giving the opportunity to get in touch with the product and with all the processes that create and let the product become alive. I think that for us as managers it's going to be really interesting because we are having a practical experience of what the product is and I'm sure that this is going to give us a plus in our professional life. In this environment we are going to be in touch with so many people from so many different backgrounds that if you have something inside you are going to here to have the possibility and the environment to develop your own dreams. I will suggest to totally go for it and not to be afraid. I wanted to bridge the gap between my previous studies in international relations and the fashion industry, so such as issues of, as sustainability is what I'm interested in. Then fashion was kind of the second step after my, my bachelor's degree. So I really wanted to study in France, to be really immersed in the French culture and the French environment. So studying in English, but in Paris for me was kind of the best of both worlds. I chose to come to IFM because I really like the professional grounding of the program. So the fact that we get some experiential learning to discover different jobs in the industry, that we get internships, experience during Fashion Week, so this is really what motivated my final decision. So one of the strong moments um, I remember from my degree so far has been the Paris Immersion Program, which we did last fall, so it was three days of walks and a discovery of Paris, very in-depth, one IFM professor and two guides, and this was really a beautiful moment of, of discovery of the city in which I hope to work in the future. An advice I would give to any future students is to really not be afraid of whatever background they may have because personally I had an international relations background and it's actually the opposite of a problem. It's even very enriching. We have students from all backgrounds, from chemistry even in my class. So I think this is really a plus. I'm really surprised about all the product categories that we had been learning because I, I really came like focused on fashion, but we are learning a lot about other product categories as shoes, perfume, beauty, watches so it's very interesting to see how all this product knowledge that we have in different categories help us to understand better the luxury and also each brand uh, by itself so it's very very interesting the things that i enjoy the most about the program is that it's really professional not that theoretical let's say so we apply all the knowledge to group projects and to business cases. So this really keep us connected with what's going on in the market. And also having teachers working in the leading fashion houses give us a very updated perspective about what we are learning and about what is going on in the market. The fact that we are having some conferences with CEOs and directors from the major luxury houses, the fashion conglomerates, uh, and also networking events with people already working in the industry makes the experience very complete and very enriched. One thing that I enjoy the most in IFM is the cultural diversity that we have in our class. Um, our class have around 60 students and then they, all of them are from different almost different countries. So we have a very diverse 
profile of students and when we work together um, it's really interesting and it's really different from what I used to have so we have we all have different strengths and weaknesses and that's why when we work together we have a very strong team and uh, I also get inspired by all the classmates uh, that I have worked with is a very enriching experience to me. I think that the school has been very helpful in terms of um, helping foreign students like me to settle in, in Paris. For example, they have sent us an international student booklet uh, telling us what we have to do. For example, the insurance that we have to get or what kind of student residence that you can apply to. Um, and also, I remember the first two weeks that we joined IFM, we have um, a, a workshop that the whole school uh, do together. So we really got to know students from different programs, not just our program, even for the design students or the image design or um, the pattern making students. So I think it's a very interesting experience. I wanted to specialize myself in uh, fashion and image. One day I came to the Open Doors and I saw the program and it was basically all what I wanted to do. What I liked the most, it was that, well, there was two things. First, the way that the program was built, very fast but very intense. That was a very good combination and it really gave you a good idea of the different fields that you can work in fashion. It was super interesting to work with the French uh, luxury brands or English luxury brands. Like a strong memory about this program, it was the first workshop actually that helped me a lot. Really helped me to shape uh, my creative universe, my way to communicate my, with a strong point of view. It helps me even today in my uh, career. I see what I did during the program and I'm still super proud actually. I did uh, an internship at Chloe in visual merchandising and I got a job opportunity there. But I wanted to explore more the image design part. So I worked uh, one year in uh, Kitsune. After that I realized that I wanted to work with many clients. I changed to my current agency. IFM also helps you to manage well your time, like if you want to be freelance or in a company. I always have many professional opportunities and IFM helps a lot in that sense. So IFM brought me where I am today. I will say after the program straight away uh, I was contacted by some of the professionals that I met during the program. You really learn how to work in a concrete way. You, you need to be fast, you need to be organized, you need to be realistic, you need to prepare something strong with a strong storytelling and it's exactly what you learn at IFM. The program, it's built in the real professional life. It's like a professional experience and a school at the same time. I came to IFM to study image because it was the only program I found that offered the range of classes. So mixing styling and art direction, visual merchandising, digital design, and also I love Paris, so I wanted to come here. Before IFM, I studied fine art and literature. And then I worked in fashion as a buyer in London and owned my own store in Australia as well. I loved studying at IFM. I think one of the main benefits was, was meeting so many other people from around the world who were in my program. And the teachers and the, the professionals that come to visit um, were really inspiring. And this was another part of why I chose IFM was the connection to kind of people working in the industry today. And there's such a close relationship with different brands, luxury houses and smaller designers as well. And so I wanted to have that connection and, and meet lots of different people. Um, and all of the teachers are super inspiring. They're working and doing their projects so you can really learn. Even today, I'm still in touch with so many of my teachers that I had here and I've worked on projects that they got me directly. So it's quite a direct connection between being a student here and then working afterwards. When I finished my course at IFM, you have to do an internship. It was actually quite simple and often people working in those companies were alumni from the same course, so this always helps. Um, so I did an internship with an art direction agency and then afterwards they were really, really helpful in giving me more freelance work after I finished there. Um, I worked for different magazines and different brands that they'd recommended me to. It's a really a tangible 
link between your, your studies here and then the professional world. Something really special I think about the IFM image course is the Creative Universe project. This is something I hadn't really done for myself before. Even studying fine art, you didn't focus in the same way and really go this deep. And it's been so helpful for my work. Even when I'm working on projects for brands, even if I'm sticking to their codes and their history, it still allows you to bring something special that only you have. And this is really important today to, to always keep um, what makes you special. And that's what will keep brands wanting to work with you and keep you being able to evolve in your career. During IFM, one of the things I discovered was I really liked working with lots of different brands. I love art direction, but I also really was drawn to styling. And I think today it's much more creative and interesting to be a freelance stylist rather than working in-house. It can be quite daunting to freelance, especially in a city where I'm not from, but IFM kind of gave me the confidence and, and the network to make that actually work. I studied fashion design at, uh, in a fashion school in, in Madrid and then in Rome. Previously, I, al I also did some internship. I was working at, in Hermes, in the visual merchandising department, and in small uh, luxury brands in, based in Spain. I always liked the, this, the visual side and the creative direction and art direction side. The structure of the program was really versatile. It was very like oriented in into image, not focusing only in one like expertise, but really open to different disciplines that image covers. So for example, we, uh, we were able to, to understand the pure image uh, reality, but also we were working uh, into uh, graphic design, also the visual and space design. There is a great project that really inspired me when I was at IFM. And it was one workshop that we did along with the management students. It was on the day and we had to respond to a particular brief they gave us in, in the morning. And we had to respond to that at maybe at four o'clock in the afternoon. So it was super intense. I was, uh, I was very happy because I, I had the chance to meet people really connected with my, with my universe. I really connected also with their way of thinking and their, uh, their approach and we were able to develop some, a very interesting project in my opinion. So for me the link between the end of IFM and the beginning of the professional path and career, it's uh, more about like the networking and the relationships that you are uh, unconsciously building since the beginning at IFM. You are already like in a, in a big soup, if we can say, you are inside diving and you are like swimming with like many people that they are in the same industry as you are. Now I'm a visual project leader and image designer at Nina Ricci in the fashion division. At IFM you see that everyone, every different creative universe, it's, it's welcome, it's even more than welcome. You are sharing uh, with others something that for others it's totally new because it's your, your DNA as a, as a creative. I mean, for me it's the, it's the key. What I really like about MA in IFM is that the, the tutors are really working in the industry. So they are like why, super aware of everything that is going on. So I think that's good because in other experiences that I have, like normally tutors are just like tutors and that's fine too. But I think here you can have a lot of contacts and then like when you go out, it's better like for us to be like related with these persons. I think that's, that's really good. The best thing that happened so far in all the MA is when we met Albert Elbaz. It was a workshop just for women's wear and we are just nine. So it was really nice because it was like a surprise because they didn't told us that it was going to be like Albert. So it was like, okay, he's going to be like a special guest. So just be prepared, be in this room, bring this and this. And we were like, okay, these are super weird stuff and requests. So let's just be there. We were there and we were like waiting, I think like for couple of minutes and then we saw him and he was like what like I would never believe like he was here and that he was with us like for two days. When it came to choosing a university degree I wanted to choose something creative but where I come from there's not a huge history of fashion so I did a portfolio year 
we explore all the different disciplines like sculpture, ceramics, fashion, graphic design and I really fell in love with it and that was really, a, I suppose that would have been a time to make a decision and it was a very clear choice for me that I wanted to focus on fashion. I really wanted my master's to be creative, for it be very much an experience about learning about the making but also very industry based and I felt that for me that wasn't in a lot of other master programs. I felt that they were more conceptual, whereas I felt that there was a good balance here that it was conceptual, that I could work on my, explore my own personal universe, but that I was also learning about the French fashion industry and getting to meet with a lot of people who are working within the industry. And that was very important to me, especially since I had come from working in the industry, I didn't want to go so completely conceptual that then I couldn't find a job afterwards. It was quite important to me. Our design teachers are designers within the industry, so they, they can see it from a current perspective, but they don't push their taste or their, their design aesthetic on you. They completely take in your universe and push you within that and within your taste level, so that's quite helpful. I think a key moment for me within the program was definitely the Brands Project. A part of the Leather Goods program, we got to work with Hermes and we got to meet with the design team four times to work with them very closely on a project for the brand. And we finished it off with presenting in their headquarters. It's such a beautiful brand. It is a pinnacle within leather goods in the craft and having that experience and being welcomed into their home um, and to present your project to them. It was amazing. Before coming in this master, I was uh, studying first like 3D animation and illustration. Then I started to study textiles and material design where I start to create my own shoes and accessory. And then after I wanted to very focus on footwear design. I switched to fashion because it was what I already wanted to do. Like in 3D animation, what is what interesting for me, it was more about the clothes or the aesthetic of the character. So it was like logic for me to go to fashion. I chose the IFM for my master because I wanted to very professionalize myself in footwear design. And for the first time of my life, maybe work with professional footwear, like from a designer, but also shoemaker, and to work with factory too. So what I prefer in this master is that you can see all the aspects of the footwear designer job, like the creative aspect of course, but also the shoemaking part or the contact with the factory. What was very exciting, it was to work with my classmates, to work with people that are very passionate about shoes. And it was the first time I was in a class with only footwear passionate. So it was very interesting to exchange with all these people. I study fashion because I love experimenting with different materials, with different shapes, with different forms, exploring them around the body and in space. I think it's a very exciting thing for like in working in fashion to come to Paris because Paris is the city of fashion, I think, for everyone. Also be at IFM, which is like somehow the center also here in Paris at the Seine which is like really beautiful too so knitwear I think it's a very like at the moment it's very rare everywhere to really find a specialization or really to find a place where you can really explore deeply the knitwear where you also have the machinery to really get your ideas going. I think especially in Paris, I think it's the only real knitwear master. I was really looking for something where I can really experiment, try out different things, be creative, but also get a very um, technical education too, because knitwear is very technical. So you really need a lot of know-how, how to um, program, how to finish how it's different from woven. It's different because you really start to rethinking and redesigning your garment already with the yarn, with the material itself, with the fibers, thinking about fiber, the yarn, what you're using, the material, what you're using. I really enjoy in the program having different opinions from all different kind of fields. I can always go to my tutors, ask them for advice, or get different opinions also from people who come from the outside, which is really nice for my work because I think 
it's really important to get different um, views and different input because it can really make you um, also think more. Thank you.